Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sunday afternoon and I'm hanging out here at the house trying to get caught up a little bit. Yesterday was a really hectic day for me, so today I'm just editing some video. I'm cleaning some products and I'm going to try to take some photos. I might even try to list a few items tonight. I was hoping to make this video Friday, but just didn't get around to it. So I figured I'd get to it today. Friday ended up being a pretty epic day. I found a lot of cool stuff at the thrift store. I found a bunch of old vintage toys from the 90s. I also found a couple of odds and ends as well. Let me show you guys what I found. They had this big crate of like transformers and all kinds of old toys and everything. Some of those bigger ones were four or five dollars, but most of the smaller ones were a dollar a piece. There was also this big plastic drawer full of miscellaneous figures and characters and whatnot. I already found one character in there. It's a Sub-Zero figure, and it looked like it was selling for $45. However, it had its weapons included, and I'm not sure if they're in this box. There's a lot of toys in here, so I'm going to have to have a closer look. I don't even know what most of this stuff is. Look at that dude with the big hands. But I saw some, like, Power Rangers, and there's some Ninja Turtles. I don't know how old these are, so we're just going to have to look them all up. There was a lady and her mother standing over that drawer, and I was watching them. I don't know which figures they got, but they filled up a small bucket full. But I have a feeling that she wasn't super experienced selling those items, because I recognized quite a few good ones. It's going to take some time to figure out what is what, but I think it's going to be a good investment. As soon as that lady walked away, I just went ahead and picked up the whole box. I brought it up to Janet, and I said, can you give me a number on all of these? And she said she could do 25 bucks for the box, and I was fine with that. I have sold some older toys in the past, although I don't have a lot of experience doing it, so this should be a fun adventure. I also found those two boxes. They're adjustable knee straps. I think they might be new, but I'm not 100% sure. I paid $1.70 a piece. I think I should be able to sell those for about $15. I found that Dymo printer over there. It was $4.25 with discount. I think that might be the $4.50. I haven't really looked at it. I just grabbed it. For $4.25, I know I'm not going to lose any money on it. There was also that really nice Orvis vest. It does show some wear, but it looked like it was in overall decent wearable condition. They wanted $8 for it, so I got it for $6.80 after discount. It looks like they're selling for about $25 to $30. This is a pretty special find right here. This is a Netgear N900 Wi-Fi router. It's new old stock, still sealed in the original plastic. I picked it up for $3.40 with discount. The funny thing is, I just saw somebody pick up a sealed one of those recently. I think it was Osborne to Thrift. That guy is a freaking maniac anyway. I've never seen anybody like him. That guy is like me, except for he does 10 times the work. When I saw that router sitting on the shelf, new like that, I knew it was going to be special. I looked it up, and it looks like they're selling for at least $100, sometimes a little bit more. This is going to end up paying for all of the stuff that I bought today, so that's great. That was what I found over at the Salvation Army. Then I shot over to the More Than a Thrift. As usual, I didn't find a whole lot over there. But I did find this Pampered Chef Veggie Spiralizer. She was getting three bucks on that. And I think they sell for at least $15 plus shipping. I'm going to have to double check though. This is going to be the find of the day from there today. When I saw that name right there, I knew it was going to be good. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I've sold these items in the past. I think it's called Sangeen or Sangeen. I just know that when I see it, I pick it up. And it was only three bucks. When I looked up the comps, I wasn't disappointed at all. I forgot to mention that when I was at the Salvation Army, Janet saw that I had all this stuff, and she said she still has one more crate of this. And I asked her, well, do you want to sell it now? I'll probably buy all of it. I guess she wanted to go through it first before she priced it. So hopefully, if everything works out right, I should be able to get it for a decent price. And they look like they're all smaller Transformers. She'll probably end up selling me most of those for a dollar a piece. At least I hope. Anyway guys, let me know what you think down below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. And as always, I'll talk to you next time.